people make a mistake doing is that if the dog reacts badly, they will immediately pull the dog out of that situation and there's never a resolution to it. You can see the longer Varro is here, the more he figures out what the environment really is. So although you may be a little bit afraid when you walk into a new situation, you stand back, watch what's going on, and see where the monsters in the room were. Now by watching, he gets a chance to decide, really there aren't any monsters. Easy. Good boy, you're fine. Good boy. Good boy, you're fine. He doesn't know what to do. This is the problem with obedience training, is that it teaches the dog to follow orders, not make decisions. You're fine. This is making decisions. This is waiting for somebody to tell him what to do. Both have the same capabilities. Both were born pit bulls. She's a female, he's a male. I mean, okay, neither one of them are spayed or neutered. So they're, they're whole individuals. Healthy, young, they're probably about the same age, actually. Who knows? They might be litter mates. I mean, you never know. Absolutely. I yeah. thought that when I first saw yeah. it. Yeah, I wouldn't be, I mean. So, this dog was raised by a young woman, a little bit irresponsible, but the dog was raised living with a bunny. <laughs> no. She grew up in a home where she was expected to be, to love the bunny. That dog doesn't have an inkling of wanting to get anything. So this dog was artificially programmed to become more toy-like. Now when we think about it, the dogs are all related to wolves. They all have a piece of each one of these still in their personality. This is the balance. So because for the most part, the pit bull is this, the working in the terrier, okay, you don't see silliness for silliness. You see silliness testing. You don't see toy-like with bunnies unless you work to bring that out in that dog. You can develop the non-sporting, which is a little bit reactive and a little bit suspicious of everything. Mary doesn't have any fun. But you know what? The worst is when a dog is played rough with, convinced he can be tough and wrestle and play and be tough, and then all of a sudden he gets too tough, and they dump him out in the country because they can't handle him anymore. He probably never missed a meal. He was up on a pedestal. But he didn't know limits. Mary knew limits, big limits. She couldn't eat the rabbit. <laughs> Which is the best? I'll take that any day. This is what a pit bull is supposed to be. This loyal, respectful, wonderful, powerful dog. And on Saturday nights, they took him to the pit, they fought them, then they went home, they were the kid's pet again. This dog is not to be aggressive to a human being. They have to be taught to be aggressive to human beings. And that comes from the person that raises them, just like kids. Okay, so, we start out with two entirely different childhoods. Same breed. Possibly same litter. Okay, so this is pretty calm. Everybody's fine, aren't they? Until a distraction. Now you hear growling, you hear activity, you hear all this stuff. Fargo? Easy. No. She had a year and a half with that dog. She's happy. She enjoyed it all the time. Yes, she did. Yep. She enjoyed Fargo. Fargo enjoyed her. But Fargo's, Fargo's long.
lost other jobs. This is no big deal. You see? Mary, knock it off. Good. Now, Mary. Okay, when we're doing a temperament assessment, I choose the herders. First of all, they're bred to be around cattle. They're bred to be around cattle and large animals. So they're smart enough, if they've been raised correctly, to make decisions that keeps them safe dealing with large animals. These dogs are bred to push cattle to a field you want them to be. Come on, you guys. Their activity drives dogs crazy. Good boy, Mark. They don't want to be friends with everybody. They're easy to train and they're dependable. Z, here. Good girl. Hi, Fargo. You see? Here. Good girl. So if you're going to use these, if you're going to use dogs to teach other dogs, you better have one of the dogs trained. Down. Fargo, down. Wait. They are bred to be compliant. Hey, you down. Down. They are bred to be compliant even when it makes no sense. Come on, music. Good girl. They drive other dogs crazy because of their busyness. Now, those dogs are all smart enough. Izzy hasn't had as much experience as the rest of them, but they're all smart enough to survive in a herd of cattle. Easy. See, Barrow doesn't want to be aggressive. He's not been used for fighting, but they don't make sense. Fargo, don't be stupid. Because if you want that cow moved from one place to the other, they're going to do it. He'd go in on he'd go in on borrow if I told him to. He'd back off if I told him to. Now, good boy, borrow. So we look at this dog as aggressive. He's not aggressive. He just lacks conditioning. Good boy. Oh, Fargo. Hi, you. Mary, look at him. They're all nuts. How are you, Barney? Really high. Yeah, hi. So. I use the herders a lot. These are terriers. So if I turned a terrier loose, it would have to, excuse me, it would have to be one that really understood the game. Because a terrier isn't going to back down. Unless it's trained. Easy. Come here, music.
like a normal border collie. Fargo has been raised by a German Short Hair Pointer and by my Lakelands and Airedales. So Fargo has a little more Australian Shepherd type temperament. Good boys. Fargo, back off. Fargo, back off. Good boy. That's where your tools come in. To be able to turn that dog off. One for a shot. He's happy. Or one for a shot. Now, she's a dog that was raised to show. She's a wonderful dog. She doesn't really have one nasty bone in her body, kind of like Mary. But because of that, she's more silly. She's not as focused on working yeah. as what the other two are. Z's over here laying here watching, which is exactly what the, sh the dog would do out on a ranch. Unless there was danger, she's just keeping track of everything. So if I started getting into problems with one of these dogs, she'd come over and separate them from me. And she might die doing it, but she'd do it. She's ready to watch the sheep. Watch the cattle. Good easy. Good girl. Good girl, Kylie. Easy. Good boy, Carl. Good job. Hi. Good boy. Somebody what to do? It's another thing that they trust you enough to choose to do what you say rather than have to force them. Hi, you. Oh, look at you. Look at you. You're one of big scary pit bulls. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, Mary, look at you. He's no different than any other dog. In fact, a little, a little snipey dog, they bite quicker than this pit bull ever would. The problem with it is they're going to put a little hole in your finger. She's going to take off your arm. I mean, the capabilities are so much more. When I work with a pit bull, this to me is the perfect parallel to a veteran. They're capable of doing great damage if you don't do some conditioning. Because they know how to. It's the rehabilitation to take a guy that knows how to do physical harm. Easy. Not fight with them. Not force them. Good boy. Do the conditioning that causes success. That's our rehabilitation program. People and dogs. So, you've learned a ton of things today. And you haven't been up here and done the one that said, I, you have to do this. I've shown you with the dog. Proof positive that this works. Her choice is to go get a bone. Isn't that just an awesome dog? But this is a dog with no baggage. This is a dog with a ton of baggage. we got to get rid of the baggage. And then... We can train this. Good girl, Mary. Good boy, Borrow.